Good morning, students. Welcome back to my class, English for Grade 11 Senior High Schools. I am Coach Ahmad Riwayati. We will continue discussing our exercise on listening comprehension. We'll discuss exercise 3, short conversation, identifying intent. Well, students, before we uh, discuss the question and answer, let's listen again the 10 short conversations. Part 3. Conversations. Practice. Identifying intent. Directions. Listen to the conversation and then choose the statement that best answers the question. Question 1 refers to the following conversation. Well, I made the call and I got the tickets for Sunday evening. Great. I'm so looking forward to this. They're my favorite band. Mine too. It's at the Capitol Theater. That's the best place for a concert. Number one. What do the speakers plan to do this Sunday? Question two refers to the following conversation. I'm so tired of this office. It's so ugly. Why don't you buy some new furniture? Or at least get a new rug. Hmm, new things are so expensive. But I could paint the furniture I have now. Number two. What will the man probably do? Question three refers to the following conversation. I'd like to order a small plain pizza. Would you like that delivered, or will you pick it up? I'll pick it up. I'll send you a text message on your cell when it's ready to be picked up. Number three. What is the woman going to do? Question four refers to the following conversation. I'm freezing cold. Then you probably don't want any ice cream. No, I need something to warm me up, like a cup of tea. Well, maybe you should put on a sweater, and then we can have ice cream. Number four. What will the man probably have? Question 5 refers to the following conversation. Let's take a cab. It's raining. But just a little, and I have an umbrella. Let's walk. No, it's starting to rain harder. And here's a cab. Get in. Number 5. What form of transportation will the speakers use? Question 6 refers to the following conversation. Here's your order, ma'am. That'll be $25. Let me check my wallet. No, I don't have cash. Will a credit card do? That will be fine. Number 6. How will the woman pay? Question 7 refers to the following conversation. It's really cold in here. Why don't you turn off the air conditioning? Why would the air conditioning be on? It's winter. Oh, I see the problem. Someone left the window open. Number 7. What will the woman probably do? Question 8 refers to the following conversation. This old fax machine never works. It's time to get a new one. Are you sure? Maybe it's not plugged in. Oh, you're right. How embarrassing. Number 8. What will the man do? Question 9 refers to the following conversation. Is that today's paper? Would you lend it to me a minute? Sure. 
Do you want to see today's headlines? No, I just want to check the movie schedule. There isn't any movie worth seeing, trust me. Number nine. What does the woman want to do? Question 10 refers to the following conversation. Buy this sweater. It looks good on you. Yes, and it goes well with my skirt. But for the party, I need a dress. You're right. It's a formal party, and a long dress is more suitable than a skirt. Number 10. What will the woman probably buy? Let's start question number one for conversation one. Question number one. What do speakers plan to do this Sunday? A. Watch a baseball game. B. See a movie. C. Go to the concert. D. Visit the Capitol. To check the answer, let's read and see the script of Conversation 1. This is the script of Conversation 1. The woman says, Well, I made the call and I got the tickets for Sunday evening. The man replies, Great, I'm so looking forward to this. They are my favorite band. The woman says, Mine too. It is at the Capitol Theater. That's the best place for a concert. The question is, what do the speakers plan to do this Sunday? To answer these questions, let's see some keywords that we can consider. The keywords are the ticket, my favorite band, and the last expression, the woman says, the woman says, mine too, it is at the Capitol Theater. That's the best place for a concert. From these expressions, we are very positive that the speakers plan to go to the concert this Sunday. Question number two for conversation two. What will the man probably do? A. Buy a new rock. B. Buy new furniture. C. Paint the old furniture. D. Get another office. To check the answer, let's see and read the script of conversation 2. This is the script of conversation 2. The man says, I am so tired of this office. It's so ugly. The woman replies, Why don't you buy some new furniture? Or at least get a new rug? The man says, Hmm, new things are so expensive. But I could paint the furniture I have now. The question is, What will the man probably do? To answer these questions, Let's focus on what the man says in the end of this conversation. The man says, New things are so expensive, but I could paint the furniture I have now. So, the man will probably paint the old furniture. Question number three for conversation three. What is the woman going to do? A. Eat pizza. B. Pick up her office. C. Put things in order. D. Make a delivery. To check the answer, let's see and read the script of conversation three. This is the script of conversation three. The woman says, I'd like to order a small plain pizza. The man replies, would you like that delivered or will you pick it up? The woman answers, I'll pick it up. The man says, I'll send you a text message on your cell when it's ready to be picked up. The question is, what is the woman going to do? 
To answer this question, it is enough to understand what the woman says at the beginning of the conversation. The woman says, I would like to order a small plain pizza. It means it is very clear that the woman is going to eat pizza. Question number four for conversation four. What will the man probably have? A. Some ice cream. B. Some hot tea. C. Some cool cut. D. Some iced tea. To check the answer, let's read and see the script of conversation four. This is the script of conversation four. The man says, I am freezing cold. The woman replies, then you probably don't want any ice cream. The man says, no, I need something to warm me up, like a cup of tea. The woman says, well, maybe you should put on a sweater and then we can have an ice cream. The question is, what will the man probably have? To answer these questions, it is enough to understand what the man says. The man says, no, I need something to warm me up, like a cup of tea. It is very clear here that because the man is freezing cold, he will probably have some hot tea. Question number five for conversation five. What form of transportation will the speakers use? A. Train. B. Walking. C. Bus. D. Cap. To check the answer, let's read and see the script of conversation 5. This is the script of conversation 5. The woman says, let's take a cab, it's raining. The man replies, but just a little, and I have an umbrella, let's walk. The woman says, no, it's starting to rain harder, and here's a cab, get in. The question is, what form of transportation will the speakers use? To answer these questions, let's try to understand what the woman says at the end of the conversation. The woman says, no, it's starting to rain harder, and here's a cab, get in. From these expressions, we are very positive that the speakers will use a cap. Question number six for conversation six. How will the woman pay? A. With a money order. B. With a credit card. C. With cash. D. With a check. To check the answer, let's read and see the script of conversation six. This is the script of conversation six. The man says, here's your order, ma'am. That'll be $25. The woman replies, let me check my wallet. No, I don't have cash. Will a credit card do? The man replies, that will be fine. The question is, how will the woman pay? To answer these questions, let's focus on what the woman says. The woman says, no, I don't have cash. Will a credit card do? And the man answers, that will be fine. From these dialogues, we are very positive. Because the woman doesn't have cash, she will pay with a credit card. Question number seven for conversation seven. What will the woman probably do? A. Turn off the air conditioning. B. Open the window. C. Turn on the air conditioning. D. Close the window. To check the answer, let's see and read the script of conversation seven. This is the script of conversation seven. The woman says, it's really cold in here. Why don't you turn off the air conditioning? The man replies, 
Why would the air conditioning be on? It's winter. The woman says, Oh, I see the problem. Someone left the window open. The question is, what will the woman probably do? To answer these questions, let's focus on the last expression the woman says in the end of this conversation. The woman says, Oh, I see the problem. Someone left the window open. From this expression, we are very positive that the room becomes very cold because someone left the window open. So, the woman will probably close the window. Question number eight for conversation eight. What will the man do? A. Buy a new machine. B. Fix the old machine. C. Plug the machine in. D. Use the co-worker's machine. To take the answer, let's read and see the script of conversation eight. This is the script of conversation eight. The man says, this old fax machine never works. It's time to get a new one. The woman replies, are you sure? Maybe it is not plugged in. The man says, oh, you are right. How embarrassing. The question is, what will the man do? To answer this question, let's focus on what the woman says and how the man replies. The woman says, Are you sure? Maybe it is not plugging. The man says, Oh, you are right. How embarrassing. It means the problem is the machine is not plugging. So the man will probably plug the machine in. Question number nine for conversation nine. What does the woman want to do? A. Look at the movie schedule. B. Borrow some paper. C. Read the news. D. Buy a newspaper. To check the answer, let's see and read the script of conversation nine. This is the script of conversation nine. The woman says, Is that today's paper? Would you lend it to me a minute? The man replies, Sure. Do you want to see today's headlines? The woman says, No, I just want to check the movie schedule. The man says, There isn't any movie worth seeing. Trust me. The question is, What does the woman want to do? To answer these questions, Let's focus on what the woman says. The woman says, no, I just want to check the movie schedule. From these expressions, uh, we are very sure that the woman wants to look at the movie schedule. Question number 10 for conversation 10. What will the woman probably buy? A. A sweater. B. A skirt. C. A suit. The address. To check the answer, let's see and read the script of conversation 10. This is the script of conversation 10. The man says, Buy this sweater. It looks good on you. The woman replies, Yes, and it goes well with my skirt. But for the party, I need a dress. The man says, You are right. It's a foreign party, and a long dress is more suitable than a skirt. The question is, what will the woman probably buy? To answer these questions, let's focus on what the woman says. The woman says, yes, and it goes well with my skirt, but for the party, I need a dress. From these expressions, we are 100% positive that the woman will probably buy a dress. Well, students, that is the end of our discussion today.
for exercise 3. I am Coach Ahmad Rewati. Would like to say very good luck for you all. Thank you very much for joining my class. See you and bye-bye.